What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be vibe coding with warp. So warp, I'm on warp.dev and it says the terminal with AI agents built in. And the reason that I wanna try this out today is because I have an agentic workflow where typically I'll just launch a bunch of terminal instances on my Mac and I'll be working with Claude Code or Codex um, on my Mac in these terminals. But with warp, basically what I've heard, I'm not sure yet, I have never tried it out but I've been hearing a lot that Warp is getting better and that I should try Warp out because it will improve my development workflow. So with that being said, I just downloaded Warp. I clicked download from app, Mac, so I have it downloaded here. So we're gonna get this downloaded and we're gonna launch it. We're gonna try it out. Um, so this is the first time I've ever used it. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form, but just wanna try out a different workflow and see if that can improve what we're doing at all because sometimes it can be a little bit uh, inconvenient to have to manage all these terminals. So we're gonna see, I don't even know much about it. So let's see if we can now launch it, warp. So here it is. Um, let's check out the pricing. So I'm gonna open this. So warp, so they have, let's see, I haven't even signed up, but they have a free plan, a build plan, a business plan, and then a custom plan. So build, pay as you go for developers who want flexible access to AI that scales with their usage. So 1500 AI credits per month. I mean, I'm assuming that I can just use like Claude code inside of Warp, at least that's what I've heard. So let me sign up real quick. I'm gonna sign up and um, we'll get into it. But this is gonna be interesting because I'm pretty sure that you can just like sign up you can like use Claude code inside of Warp. So even though they have this, you know, build plan, which we'll probably get started with, um, what I wanna do, okay, so here we go. So here's Warp. So let's open a repository. So we're gonna be working inside of View Creator, which is the project that I've been working on for the last uh, 79 days. Um, let's open up View Creator and give it a shot. Open it up. Um, okay, so View Creator, this is interesting. Okay, so literally I just opened it up and all there is to it is like tabs. Uh, so let's see, agents. So install a binary dependency, start a new project, deploy your project. So new agent, what does that do? Oh wow, okay, so just open up another agent. Oh wow, okay, so I can open like a bunch of agents up. So I guess this is how you use their, is there a way to open up a, just a terminal though? Terminal? Like to, can I, I don't think that these are terminals, are they? Does anybody know in the chat? What do you, how do I open up a uh, warp? So Super Combo Gamer said warp is like an AI terminal. Um, XCARM said command plus T new tab, command D equals split screen. So how do I open up like a terminal and just open up Claude code? Like how can I link Claude code? So you can see that, you know, you can link to all these different uh, models here. So it's similar in that way to like a cursor where you can just, you know, integrate with whatever, whatever model that you want. But I actually only want to work inside of um, Claude code. So agent mode, terminal, terminal. Okay, so there we go. So terminal, so run command. So if I just run Claude, is that just going to run... Claude for me. So let's see here. Okay, wow. Okay, yeah, so that opened up Claude. And then is this, this is interesting. So is this just, okay, so you can see I'm running Claude here. So I can do the same thing here, I assume. So let's also run Claude here. Um, and I'm gonna do terminal. Wow, so I can literally use warp just with my normal Claude plan, which is really interesting. So let's run Claude here as well. And let's run Claude here as well. And how many terminals can I actually open up? So let's see here. So Literally somebody in chat said that it's uh, command T is just new tab. Oh shoot, I just messed that up. Okay, wait, no, we're good. So, okay, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so if you do command T, it's gonna open up like a completely new tab here. And then here, so this is almost like a agentic workspace that you can use. Um, you don't have to switch to terminal mode to run terminal commands. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, so how do I make this kind of make this like fill the container or? Scroll the to top, toggle, okay, that's fine. So I'm just gonna do like, can I just launch a bunch of these? Somebody in chat said that there was a certain command for that to do, okay, command D. So if I just do command D, is it gonna continue to do more? So command D, okay, wow. Okay, so command D will launch like a bunch of these. Is there a way for me to like minimize it though? So I can stack them on top of each other? But let's, okay, so I can literally just do Claude. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, so Claude, 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 Claude. Wow, this is actually a much better experience. Okay, so I'm not managing like all these terminal windows. The only question is, is like, just when you have too many open, it gets a little bit uh, crammed here. Is there a way to like minimize these? Uh, maximize pain? Oh shoot, I just messed that up. All right, minimize please, minimize pain. Um, does anybody know how to do this in the chat? 
So this is really interesting because you're able to launch a bunch of instances as well. Okay, you can split vertically as well. Is Sam just said in the chat, um, I think it will crash now. Okay, uh, gotcha. Okay, open that link. Okay, Super Combo just dropped in a link in the chat. So we're gonna open this up and, and take a look and see um, um, and see what that is. He says that there are different shortcuts. So as, as you guys can see, you know, we can launch a bunch of different Claude instances and I don't even have to pay anything for this, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna open up the link that he just dropped. One second here. Got and um, all right. So here are, is the documentation. So it says window management. So the global hotkey is a configurable shortcut that can show hide a dedicated window or all windows on your chosen desktop, regardless of whether the app is focused. Tabs allows you to organize a window into multiple terminal sessions. Split panes allows you to divide a tab into multiple rectangular panes, each of which is a unique terminal session. Okay, so this is the one I'm interested in split panes. So, all right, so on Mac OS, split panes to the right, command uh, so write down with command D or in any direction by clicking on a pane, activate the previous next pane with command and then bracket, uh, navigate among split panes with a option command arrow. The active pane will be marked with a triangle in the top corner. Um, toggle maximum pane with command shift enter and close the active pane with command W. So you can also drag and drop panes, click and drag a panes header around a given tab, drag the pane. So, I'm still not seeing like, how do I? Okay, I get it, I get it. So I'm just trying to figure out how do we make it so that these are horizontally split? How do I do this guys? Anybody in chat know? Uh, J35 in the chat just asked, what are we doing? So right now we're testing out Warp. So I've been meaning to test this out. This is gonna be a YouTube video that's gonna go on YouTube. Say what's, so say what's up to YouTube if you're in the chat. But right now we can you know change these horizontally, but what, what I'm curious about is how do we make it so that these are like, why can I not? So tag agent for assistance, save his workflow, filter block output, uh, toggle. Okay, interesting. Command shift D. Okay, command shift D. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, so command shift D. Okay, sh big shout out to is Sam. <laughs> Your uh, chat just got deleted by Nightbot, but I saw it. Also, shout out to Jesse. So, Command Shift D allows it so that it splits it and adds it into these panes. So, check this out. So, we added a bunch of these, but these are actually probably not even that necessary because I think it looks better not to have them like so large there. So, let's close a couple of these. And what we'll do is we will launch Claude instances like this. We'll do vertical. I think that's just a little bit better. So, Command Shift D will add four. So, we'll do four. Oh, oops. Uh, we'll do four vertically and then four horizontally and that will do that will give us 16 Claude instances so let's just launch this ddd uh oops add an extra one there um uh cancel all right interesting interesting okay so four so we now have 16 Claude instances i actually have to launch all these so literally you don't even have to if you just run Claude, it's smart enough to know um, that you're wanting to launch a Claude. So let's just literally just do Claude and I'll do copy. And so we can just do this really quickly. Claude, 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 Claude. All right. All right. So we're going to do a bunch of Claude instances. Um, we have, this is, so this is warp. And with warp, what's really cool is, you know, my usual workflow is I have just like Mac terminals opened up. And um, with the Mac terminals, you know, I can usually have about four. I have to like kind of keep them organized. They can kind of become a little bit of a mess, but it looks like with warp, I can just literally terminate these because this this win this is almost like a, a, TMUX on, a TMUX on steroids because this is just enables me to do that, um, which is really nice. So we're gonna launch all these Claude instances. As you guys know, you know, Claude is the best model right now. So we're gonna use Claude. Um, go, sorry, I just, uh, hold on, the music shut off. Give me a second here. Um, so let's launch this. So Claude, 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 Claude. All right, get the Claude. Oh, shoot. Sorry guys, I'm getting a phone call. It's literally interrupting the YouTube video. I, I just hate it when like, when you're trying to go about your business and people like keep calling you that you don't want to talk to. Like I'm making a YouTube video right now and I'm trying to focus and there it goes again. All right, hold on guys. I'm so sorry. I've got to take this. I've got to take this. Hold on. Sorry, I'm going to mute my mic. Hold on. Hello? Okay, I know that you're in the stream. 
Okay, I get it. I know, I know. Okay, fine. I'll do... Okay, fine. I'll do one Codex instance. I'll do one Codex in it. I get it. I'll do one Codex instance. Fine. All right. Stop calling me mid midstream, Sam. Stop calling me midstream. Okay, fine. I'll do one. Fine. Fine. Jeez. All right. Sorry, guys. I was talking to uh, my ex. Um, all right. So I actually want to do one Codex instance. Um, we're going to update it because I don't use it that often. Um, so let's see here. So we do have one Codex instance launched. Or I guess I just updated it, so I'm going to have to run it again. So we have 15 Claude instances and then one Codex instance. Um, so let's see here. So let's just do... Let's just start working. Can I do ats in here? Okay, wow. Okay, so it is a little bit crammed there with four on each. Um, so maybe maybe three, just because it gets a little bit crammed with the uh, the at instances. Like let's let's drag these up a little bit. Um, but wow, this is pretty good. So let's do an at view creator uh, UI. And like for this one, I want you to do an in-depth deep dive of the website and I want you to identify opportunities for us to improve our SEO. Okay. All right. I am definitely playing copyright music right now, but that's all right. Um, okay. So now we get, we're there. So that one's going to look at the SEO. And what's cool about, you know, this agentic workflow is that you're able to have a bunch of different uh, instances running at once and manage a bunch of different tasks. What's important is that you're actually able to keep track of what you're working on. But look at this, it literally says SEO analysis right at the top there, which is really nice. So that's, okay, so this is one benefit of Warp that I just noticed. So watch this guys, do you see at the top here? Do you see this, how it literally says SEO analysis? So I just dragged that to a pane, so that actually kind of just messed that up. Uh, how do I make that, can I revert that? Hold on. Uh, yeah, see what I just did? So, but what I was trying to show you guys is that at the top here, oh, command shift enter, command shift enter. I don't know what I just did. Sorry, I messed it up. That's all right, we still have all these instances. Um, so what you guys can see is that if you, when you prompt, it actually kind of like puts the topic of discussion at the top. So I did, so command shift D, I'll add in another. So let's do um, at view creator API. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, I want you to review the API and scan the application for potential um, vulnerabilities and rank them in a table on a scale of one to 10, 10 being extreme vulnerability, one being not that bad, <laughs> I don't know. And I'm actually not gonna show that one, or I don't wanna show that one. So how would I, what did I do on that last one to make it so I can literally, okay. So now can you see how this says API security audit? So I can literally grab this and put it in another tab. And so now I can kind of navigate between tabs here. So then I can do another control D, or wait, hold on. Okay, so control D does a horizontal pane. Control, com or, uh, com command shift D, at least on a Mac, is gonna do a vertical one. So we'll do another Claude instance, and then we'll do another Claude instance. And um, dang, this is this is actually really nice. Uh, open the Claude instance and drag the SEO analytics Claude window into it. Um, <laughs> all right. J35 said, amazing, I have to download it. A Claude instance for Gemini CLI, for Quinn, and for Codex. Yeah, I mean, you could do that, right? You can work with multiple at once. So now I'm gonna say, review the at view creator API and identify opportunities for us to make the code base more maintainable and scalable without breaking functionality. Um, so I'm gonna drop that in there. So that's basically, yeah, code base review. Um, and then here, I'm gonna have it, um, let's just do a, a quick review. So we'll do at view creator. Um, we'll have this check one thing real quick, view creator API. So you have to do the at, I missed that. So at view creator API, um, at view creator database, uh, not AWS database. Hmm. One issue with warp is that since I'm running so many, it's hard to see it. That's all right though. That's all right, that's all right. Um, so we'll do view creator database. And uh, I want you to review the entities and the enums directories in both of these projects and do a full scan of all the files and come back to me with a report 
on whether or not these files are perfectly consistent as they need to be. So don't edit any code, but do an in-depth review and identify if they are consistent. Okay, so you guys see what I'm doing? So just that one's gonna work on, I wonder what it's gonna call that one. Entity Enum Consistency Review. Okay, wow. So this is great, because it's able to, like not only does it, in, in, like if I go back to my terminal workflow, <coughs> so my terminal workflow does not really do that. Um, wow. Wow, this is actually, this might be the new workflow, guys. This actually might be the new workflow. If you guys are watching, have not already liked and subscribed, make sure you do so. I'm live every single day and uh, let's get it. So it's just like normal caught. I mean, I don't, I don't even have to pay for this, do I? I didn't pay for any plan. I'm on a, I didn't even, I just literally signed up and it's completely free if I'm using Claude. Now, if I wanted to use their native AI, like it would be like almost like cursor where you pay for usage, right? But this, I can just launch all my Claude, my Claude instances in it and it's almost like an IDE, but you can't see the code. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see here. Um, so let's give these, uh, these Claude code instances some more tasks. Um, so, oh my gosh. Hold on. Jeez. Oh, I'm gonna mute my mic. Jeez. Hey, what do you want? Okay, okay. All right, fine. I'll use the Codex one next. All right, you don't have to threaten me. You don't have to threaten me. I get it. All right. All right, I'll use the Codex one next. I'll give it a task. I'm going to give it a really easy one, though, because it's garbage. All right, fine. See ya. <clears throat> Jeez, guys, my ex will not give me a break today. Okay, uh, so we're going to try this Codex one next. Um, so can I just drag and drop this? Okay, what, so what's really cool is you can just drag and drop these around. Uh, which is cool. Yeah, WDM, we're using Warp right now. We're actually, we're gonna post this on YouTube as well. So say what's up to YouTube. Um, all right, so we're gonna use Codex and I'm just gonna instruct, or what's what's it using model-wise? So is it literally already hooked up to what i model? Yeah, so it's literally already hooked up to all my Codex configurations, just like I was running it in the terminal. Do a complete in-depth review of the project and I want you to come back to me with an analysis on the API and different use cases of how we can actually improve our uh, console logging or not necessarily our console logging, but just our logging in general for debugging. Do an in-depth review of our existing logging system and come back to me with potential improvements that we can make. Okay, so you know I'm, I wanna keep using this. I wanna see, I don't know how long this YouTube video is right now. Um, I think that you guys get the gist of it. You know, it's like, this is very, very interesting. I think that for the rest of this stream, I actually want to, uh, I wanna take, I wanna, I wanna use Wis uh, or, um, Warp for the rest of the stream because this is very interesting. This is a much better experience than I'm used to with the terminal workflow. So shout out to two people, shout out to W Dan and shout out to Hung for recommending Warp. It did take me a while to, to come around to it, but I will say um, this actually has a lot of potential. So I'm gonna continue with the live stream, but I just wanted to make a brief YouTube video. The YouTube video is 18 minutes long now, so I'm gonna wrap up. But from my understanding, this has a lot of potential to be a better workflow, and I'll tell you why. Look how it labels the terminals with what's actually being worked on. So I like the CLI experience. I like the agentic Claude code CLI experience. That's my approach to development and to agentic vibe coding. But what's nice about Warp is that it literally labels it and I can drag these to new tabs and I can have way more terminals open than I would if I wasn't actually using Warp. So I'm not, again, not sponsored by them in any way, but for the rest of the stream, we're gonna be using this um, and we're gonna be really giving this a good shot. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end the YouTube video now. Appreciate you turn, tuning in. And again, this was just a, a clip out of our live stream. So if you didn't know, I'm live every single day and uh, this is Warp. And I actually would say I recommend this. This is, this is really interesting. Try it out, guys.